Instagram. I think. Um, and we're already live. We've already actually got a couple people watching. Okay. So. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, go well, thanks for having me here today, guys. So my name is Jolene Durage. And I'm here the month of May as a volunteer for the Battleship Iowa, but come June 4th, I will actually be on board, on staff, as the development director. So that means I'm going to be involved in all the fundraising activities that are part of keeping this amazing ship, museum, history, Mm -hmm. afloat and available to the public and to students. I'm really excited about that. Okay. So what first brought you here? Because, I mean, I'm sure someone like you who has experience with fundraising or has, has experience, well, presumably, I don't want to assume, <laughs> um, you must have a pretty large market for you. So how did you wind up here? Well, I live in San Pedro. I'm a long San Pedro resident. I was actually raised in Redondo Beach. I was born in Los Angeles, so I'm a native Angelino. But I love the San Pedro community. I've been here for decades. I had one of my first jobs in high school at Ports of Call. It was my highest paying job as a teenager. I was able to buy my own car. Nice. So I have really fond memories of working at Ports of Call. And I just, I love San Pedro. It's an amazing community. It's so diverse and it's multicultural and multi-generational. So I just have this great love for the people and for, and for the geography, the coastline. And, you know, we have Palos Verdes as our backyard and it's just, it's an amazing place. And I think that uh, a lot of people that live in LA don't really know what a gem this is right so yeah. I kind of want to keep it a secret but we really don't want to either we want people <laughs> to come here but in any event so I was so happy about the Iowa coming to San Pedro because it really uh, opens up this whole another dimension in terms of military and our veterans I really have a heart for our veterans I come from a military family so there's a connection there you know to the Iowa from the standpoint of my personal family history and also being a part of this community and really caring about its development and so I'm really excited that the Iowa is really an anchor to that whole waterfront redevelopment that's happening I really see the Iowa you know playing a key role in that so it's exciting so what are some of the things, because we know your title is you know, Director of Development, mm -hmm. we want to go into a little bit of just what does that mean? What are some of the things that you would do? Okay, so um, development is fundraising. It's a, it's a term that we use in, in the nonprofit world. And it's basically dealing with every aspect of raising funds for an organization. So that's everything from your memberships, mm -hmm. from your you know earned revenue programs so any paid uh, tours or you know paid programming that you're doing um, retail that's another revenue source it's your individual donors so all the people that you know feel passionate about the mission and you know support us financially that's a big part of my job is to reach out to our existing um, donors mm -hmm. and also to cultivate new donors to develop you know new relationships and strengthen the existing relationships so fundraising is really all about building relationships which is why I love it nice. because a lot of people say I can't be a fundraiser I don't know how you do it I can never ask for money mm -hmm. and you know it's never been that way for me it's been about getting to meet awesome people that really you can connect with through your mission and they want to give you yeah. know and sometimes those people are just waiting for someone to ask them to give so those major donors are going to be a big part of what I focus on. And then also our grants. So, you know, again, uh, being responsible for the grant writing and going after funding for the various programs mm -hmm. here um, at Battleship Iowa and, um, you know, going after general operating funds and then maybe some, you know, new technology type grants, that sort of thing that we already talked about a little bit. So I'm really excited about that. Nice. And of course, it does take a whole lot of money to run a ship like this. It sure does. Yes. Yes. Well, just tell us just... Do you want to know how much? <laughs> well, I mean, it's not. It's interesting for the numbers of anything else. Just because yeah. a lot of people don't can really wrap their minds about just what goes into making this ship. Just safe. the just the being here on the pier, right? Is like 
an insane amount every month. I forgot what the what the lease is, but yeah, I, I know it's been mentioned a few times. But I was okay. What that all right, <laughs> all right. So I don't, and I don't even okay. have all those numbers yet. But you bet, come June fourth, I'm going to be diving into to all of this. But um, yeah, so we have, you know, our budget is around four million dollars. Wow. And you know that's public information. So um, and that's what I'm looking at having to raise on an annual basis. So and. Again, I know this ship, I can already tell it really operates lean and mean, yeah. you know, and people are doing multiple jobs, wearing multiple hats, and it would be really nice if we could really, you know, just create a really nice sustainable revenue stream for the organization so we can bring more people on board and we can really expand the great work that we're doing and reach more people about the awesome history of the Iowa and you know all the education things that we're doing because it's really exciting to see the STEM programs and how we're really playing a part in preparing young people for you know future careers and all of that. So I'm really excited about all the different aspects that I'm going to be able to be a part of in the fundraising. And of course, especially with the STEM stuff, you're sitting right next to the people that run it. So, <laughs> so good thing I mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. So I realize you're relatively new to the crew and we're yes. kind of dropping you into the deep end, but That's okay. so what's some of the stuff that you did before you came on board? Oh, thanks for asking. So uh, my prior um, development role was at Heal the Bay. Mm -hmm. So I actually was running an aquarium at the Santa Monica Pier where I was responsible for, we had about 150 species of animals that were native to the Santa Monica Bay. Mm -hmm. um, and I had a staff of seven and over a hundred volunteers and interns and I was responsible for all the aspects of um, the aquariums program. So our educational programs, our public programs, mm -hmm. our fundraising, our marketing. So, you know, wore a lot of different hats and had oversight of that entire operation, uh, which, you know, is operated by Heal the Bay, who's a very iconic environmental organization. Mm -hmm. um, they're all about science-based advocacy work, and I learned so much working there. It was such an honor. And then prior to that, I worked at the Los Angeles Maritime Institute wow. here in town with the, the tall ships. Right. And I was development and communications director there for close to five years. All right. And then I could tell you a lot more, but you know, maybe not for this show. My bore your bore your listeners and watchers. Hey, everybody! <laughs> this is really fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, how did you find this job? Well, that's an interesting question. Um, so actually, my friend mm -hmm. Jenny is the planning director for Fleet Week. Oh. So she works for the Fleet Week Foundation, so her boss is Jonathan Williams, and my boss, boss now is going to be Jonathan, Jonathan Williams. And I had told her I was interested in trying to find another position close to home, mm -hmm. specifically in the harbor area, because I so want to be a part of the redevelopment. I so want to be a part of what's happening in this community. Oh, yeah. And I had a very long commute from San Pedro to Santa Monica. And so I kind of got to the point where, you know, uh, I'd really love something closer to home. And so I told her, just put your feelers out if you hear of something. And a few weeks later, she gave me a call and said, um, someone wants to talk to you. And I said, really, who? And she said, my boss. So <laughs> that's really how it all happened. So we started the conversation and I, uh, you know, met several times with Jonathan and had conversations with the board of directors. And here I am. Awesome. And it was just a good fit, and I just, I loved everyone I met with and I talked to, and the more involved I got here on the ship, and, you know, again, I've been volunteering, going through the different programs, and I just did full steam ahead today. It was amazing. It was an amazing uh, yeah. tour. If you guys haven't done that, you need to do it. It's, it's so amazing, because you get to go places, you know, on the ship that you don't get to see on the regular tour. And it's just amazing to really understand the physics and the engineering behind this, sh this ship and how yeah. men, you know, lived on this ship and served on this ship and what they 
the, the way they lived and the, the kinds of responsibilities they had. And, mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's tremendous. It just gives you such a, a deeper respect for our military and for the veterans that have served. And, and you know, they really do put their life on the line. Oh, yeah. and, and it's just, it gives me goosebumps. It's like, and it's so easy to take our freedoms for granted. And that's another thing I'm really excited about being part of an organization where we're trying to really educate, especially young people, mm -hmm. that the freedoms they have today and they enjoy today, someone sacrificed for that, right? Yeah. Someone was willing to lay their life on the line to give us those freedoms. And the more that we can educate them and raise that awareness, um, the more we're going to be able to really support our veterans and show them the respect and the honor that they truly deserve. Oh, yeah. You said that you come from a family that's a big military background. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. So my, my dad was actually a sailor on the USS Fall River. Okay. And he actually was an electrician on the ship. And um, he was on the USS Fall River. Uh, Fall River when it sailed to the Marshall Islands to the Bikini Atoll when the U.S. did the atomic bomb testing. Oh, yes. And um, I told this story earlier today to someone, but my dad, he's passed away, um, but he would tell the story about how when they were sailing through that atomic bomb test that all of the, the crew were told to put their hands on their face right when the testing was about to happen and my dad said you could see the bones in your hands from the blast and it was so intense and my uncle was on another ship um, at the same time it was just really uncanny they didn't know it and they were in the same area the same time during that uh, atomic bomb testing in World War II my dad later died of Parkinson's disease and um, the uh, VA has now acknowledge that men who went through that experience, um, that Parkinson's was one of the um, diseases that I came from that radiation. came from that experience, that radiation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen so. pictures of people like examining the Nagato or or the Saratoga after the bomb went off, and they're standing in like shorts and a t-shirt yeah. on something that you just know was heavily radioactive. Right, I know. It's just oh my, I, and my dad also. He was he was just such a sailor guy, you know. And uh, I remember as a kid, we'd go down to Long Beach when they had the Pike there. They called mm -hmm. it the Pike, and all the sailors would go down there. Right, it was mm -hmm. during that time when they still had a base and everything. But so I have memories of that, and uh, and then my dad also served in the Air Force during the Korean War. And then I have, my brother was in the Marines, and then I have uh, a cousin that's uh, a lifer in the Army. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, so a little bit of everyone little, everywhere, right? You got it. You yeah. got it. Yeah. A little bit. Well, maybe not your family who's in the Army or the Air Force, but definitely all... Um, your sailor family would be pretty happy that you're here on the Iowa then, wouldn't they? Oh, my, my dad's sisters are so excited they came down to meet me <laughs> over Mother's Day. And my one aunt is totally a military, military like, um, history buff. Mm -hmm. So she's brought me, like, volumes of stuff she's researched and found. And they're, they're so excited about me coming on board the Iowa. They can't wait to come down here. <laughs> nice. They're doing more research now. And apparently I found out my cousin who's in the army met with a group of seamen that were still alive who sailed on the USS or served on the USS Fall River. Wow. So I'm in process of getting some of that information and those stories and it's pretty exciting. Nice. Mm -hmm. So meanwhile, Danny seems like you actually did better than you usually do. Yeah. You actually killed a ship. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're terrible. Like we have these really awesome games when when we're not streaming. Yeah. When, then when we we're start not, streaming. When we're and... not streaming or when we don't have a guest, we'll have awesome games, and then we have a guest, and we're terrible. Yeah. Oh my gosh! But you did. You did pretty yeah, good. I did, did all right. Pretty, yeah. You know what this? Did you ever see Mystery Science Theater? Yes. Okay, this kind of reminds like they're watching the movie, but they're yeah. having a conversation, mm -hmm. and that's what I feel like is yeah. happening today. It's so much fun. Thank you guys yeah. for letting me be part yeah, of this. Yeah, I mean, the, awesome. this is why we do it because we always have interesting conversations. <laughs>
questions, <laughs> whether it's a, it's a vet or just somebody else. We had a Chris Butler, so hopefully you get to meet him at some point. Oh, yeah. But um, he's, he's, he's been, so- yeah, he's been volunteering here since probably the beginning. Yeah. You and, want to talk about a guy of many hats. He's yeah. really? an astronomer. He's a painter. He uh, was one of our staff in the education department before he yeah. uh, got hired full-time by Griffith. He still does overnights uh, now and then, yeah. and he's actually one of the. I love. I have to call him a science officer. I know he has a different <laughs> title, but yeah. he's the oh, science I love officer that. on the Queen Mary too. I love that yeah. science off. I want to meet him. Okay, yeah. please yeah. let me meet him because yeah. I, I have, love science. So we I love we have science. the interview up. So if you want to watch, that, oh, okay, he's great, hilarious. great, okay, he, he's, he's, he's great. Okay, awesome. Um, but yeah. Are we so, still live? Yeah. Still, oh, oh my still, gosh. Oh, we're definitely still live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we, we always like to joke that people are going to watch us for our interview, for our historical sure. content. They're not going to watch us for gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, if, you're, if you want to watch this gameplay, you are in the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> but it's great that you're doing that. You know, it's really, yeah. it's it's fun. So we were lucky it's enough that um it was random, too, because we talked about doing this for a while. Yeah. We just won. We realized we didn't have a computer for it. This is actually the, my computer, but I wasn't using it. I didn't have it set up. I was like, I'll just put it, set it up in here. Hey, donation. Hey, yeah, donation. I mean, like, I'm, I'm not going to be using <laughs> oh, it. Um, but Thank you. Uh, I was like, okay, but I guess we're going to have to play on our accounts and, like, <laughs> grind yeah. through getting all these ships to use them and all wow. that. And randomly one day, one of the... The guys from the company Wargaming was here. I don't know what he was doing, talking probably with Canfield or yeah. Dave Way or okay. somebody okay. about something. And he's coming off the ship, and I see him, and, and I'm like, oh, uh, you have time to talk later? Because I thought he was leaving to go do something and coming back. He's like, no, I'm leaving. Just tell me what, what you know, what's going on. He's like, oh, is there any way we can get a like a press account that has everything unlocked? And he's like, here's, here's my info. Just email me. And like a week later, we had the account. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, we're we're gonna be completely straight up honest. We had we did not expect yeah. that they would allow us to do this yeah. at all. We had absolutely no expectation. We were fully expecting them to tell us, yeah, yeah. no, yeah. get back to work, everything, yeah. But much to our surprise, yeah. uh, a lot of the higher ups are pretty excited about us, yeah, and we're, yeah. you know, we work every we day just to, that, uh, to try exposure and, and then. Uh, have a way to have consistent guests. Yes. yes. No, I, um, I think this is amazing yeah. because, again, thinking about millennials and, you know, the, yeah. the next generation, I mean, they're growing up with screens, right? Exactly. This is their world. So to be able to be in the forefront of that with our mission mm-hmm. is incredible to me. So I totally support this. I think this is awesome. Yeah. And I think, and again, I think I told you I was, you know, I'm already meeting so many people on the ship that have so many amazing stories and i kept whispering to people we gotta capture that we gotta capture that well you guys are capturing them so yay (laughs) so i'm so excited yeah i mean spread the word to everyone sure you bet i will we're here and you bet i will they got to meet with us yes Yes. absolutely we'd love to sit down with them and record them absolutely and there's one volunteer he's an uh, he's an author Mm -hmm. he's uh uh, writes thrillers or suspense i mean I mean, it, and his, yeah, he is like someone you definitely want to interview because oh, definitely. he uses all of the, you know, experiences uh, on the on the ship mm-hmm. in some of his stories. So that's kind of cool. So off we start again with uh, the Missouri. Yeah. Limo, and already <laughs> you're getting the crap shot out of yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. My team kind of went sideways. Went over there, and I'm over here by myself. Um, oh, no. But, yeah. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. That's, I got distracted. <laughs> no, it's cool. I um, like this. I want to play this game. <laughs> oh, so, no, 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 no. Okay, you going. teach me. Not yeah. right now, though. Really. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, Nikki was asking me. It's like, or no, no, it wasn't Nikki. It was uh, uh, Nui. Yeah. Just like, can you download this? I'm like, yeah, dude, you can get it online. It's, it's free. <laughs> yeah, it, it's technically, it's one. It's called a freemium game where it's technically mm-hmm. free to play, though it goes a lot faster if you pay, and that's basically okay. the business model. Okay. But it, uh, sim- I shouldn't say it's a simulator because it's not. It's not mm-hmm. meant to be historically accurate. Yeah. It's meant to be fun. But it's a game about 
warships of you know the World War Two, uh -huh. um, World War One, World War Two, and sort of stopping when it's starting to edge into the early Korean era. Okay. Um, okay. But it has the Iowa on it. That's, that's... It's one of the first uh, first mm -hmm. ships that was featured yeah. there. The uh, the Iowa class and right. like we have this game that so many people are playing. We're mm -hmm. on the real thing. Let's uh, let's. Okay, that that, let's... that was good right before I died. Two citadels <laughs> on that. Ship. Oh, are these all the people that are like playing? Yeah. Are yeah. they're also playing? Yeah. Oh my gosh! So that... people are yeah. So these are all oh, the so cool. ships Danny... that are on my team, and then those are oh all the enemy Oh my gosh! Teams. That is. Danny, you lucked out because I was about, about to give you a whole bunch of crap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like. God, Danny is dying oh my already. Gosh, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> so, did you guys come up with this concept to weave the interview piece into yeah, the so game playing? And actually, yeah. we've looked it up, and we're the only warship museum that does this this yeah. far. No one else has had this idea of, hey, let's play a warship game yeah. while interviewing people that work aboard the ship or people that have even yeah. served aboard the ship. Yeah, gosh, so this was brilliant. like a ra random brilliant. thought I had maybe a year and a half ago. Josh yeah. was still here, and I talked to him about it because we were both playing the game, and mm -hmm. we're like, oh, maybe we should do this. It's probably not something anyone's doing streaming from a from a ship. And then I was like, maybe we can like interview vets. Yeah. And then Nick came aboard, and he played too, and we started talking about it, and they kind of died for a few months. And then we got Sean, who does radio. Okay. Yeah. And so we, we kind of asked him, like, how hard is it? You know, do we need anything special, like, audio-wise, everything? And he was like, nah, just get a decent microphone and, yeah. and set everything up. And then camera, eventually I just brought my computer. And, and once we got the account, we started doing it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. This is amazing. And this is the microphone? Yeah. I, oh uh, we had Sean's. I switched it over because that has a longer cable with it. So. Okay, that's really <laughs> cool. It was the microphone. The other one was here. And I was like, no, it's probably better if it's in front of the guest. Okay, yeah. great. Just to get a little bit better audio. And uh, have you had any feedback from any like, of the, your followers? or? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, I mean, it, Are it's, they digging it? Are they, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. It. Okay. Yeah. We, we started off small. And it, we've been spreading mostly from, uh, by word of mouth. Okay. Uh, so yeah. on Discord or on Facebook and, and so on, starting. Yeah. But I got permission from John Williams to actually share news about us on the ship's yeah. Facebook yeah, account. Yeah, Alex, you make, did, did the auto one go up? The auto I didn't look at the okay, Cyrus to make for my old job. I need to uh, <laughs> tell Alex to yeah. remove that because he had it on, he had it scheduled every Saturday to go up at 3. Yeah. And so if you have permission now to do it yourself, it would probably be easier for him not to do that and sometimes we do reruns if we're not able yeah, to sometimes we do, reruns we if we're not, do it on Saturday. Also, uh, so you're doing it live every Saturday at 3 p.m.? We're doing yeah. it live every Saturday at 3 currently. Okay. Uh, we may move it to a weekday. Yeah, uh, I'm, so, I'm, okay. I'm out of here. And I'm working. Yeah, so, so usually <laughs> less time. Weekday okay. afternoons are the most common time when I'm free. Okay. So... We may shift it then, but yeah. we'll see. Okay, keep me posted. Will do. I want to be part of this. Yeah, yeah this is awesome. Thank and, you guys for having yeah. me. Oh, our pleasure. And as, yeah. as you can see, um, we actually have a very nice commenter who says that they watch for everything that they appreciate, <laughs> that, appreciate that we do that. Right. Which is very kind, that, uh, Lance, or this is, uh, we know that our gameplay isn't all that good, but we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, very good. <laughs> Yeah, so if there's anything else you want to say to the audience or just in general talk about, you know, you know, what what have you learned so far about the ship or anything? And then if anybody out there has a question you want to ask, well, they're, Jolene? Yes, they're more than, than uh, I'm more than willing to, to take questions. Um, mm -hmm. You know, again, I'm just, um, I'm only a couple of weeks into really getting familiar with all the programs on the ship. And I think that's what's really amazing to me is the really the breadth yeah. of the programming here and the exhibits and you know learning about the lost at sea exhibit that's coming up yeah. i'm i just like amazed and like i said just doing the full steam ahead today and mm -hmm. really and seeing the reactions of the people that's like so rewarding you that, know? that's something that like people would always ask for uh you guys have the engine rooms open you guys have the engine rooms open? you yeah. got it asked like Every time somebody like walked off the ship, I'm like, we didn't get to see the engines. Are they open? 
Yeah, no, yeah. That's finally not. we can go like yeah come yes, on the weekends and, and there's a tour that takes yes, you right down come and yeah. see them it's amazing before it was like no we don't know when we're gonna open them we don't know if we'll ever open them well, <laughs> it's well, dangerous we knew, to go down there we always there. knew that we wanted to yeah. eventually and of course most of it as with most of everything was time and money yeah, and, and the effort to get it ready yeah. not and you know now that's the answer that we have for the tourists like whenever we have the time whenever we have the money because uh, it's it's easily going to be a multi-million dollar thing to get the turrets open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know what I'm walking into here. Okay, let me tell you. But going back to, you know, my observations. So, again, full steam ahead I did today was amazing. And, you know, you see movies. You know, most mm -hmm. people, their experience of military is often just what they see in, yeah. on television and in film. Wow. We gotta I asked it. George how to disconnect that. <laughs> yeah. I love that though. It fits into our mystery science yeah. theater vibe here, okay? But, so, um, for those that don't know, or because it's kind of off camera, that was the sound powered phone of this compartment, which does still work, and his companion is hooked up in the mess, and so sometimes kids like to. Oh, yeah. do it, okay. Mess, which uh, definitely wakes us up. Okay. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I was like, what's, what's making it? Oh, yeah, we got the sound powered phone. Like, oh, yeah, that, that thing over there. Yeah, I'm st it's it's amazing. Just the you know the different sounds I'm hearing are pretty amazing. So again, yeah, full steam ahead and to see the areas where these, um, you know, where these servicemen actually lived and worked, and you know, to be in an engine room where area where there were like would be 25 men in there at a time mm -hmm. would be hot. And I mean, it, there was one area they said it would hit 130 to yeah. 140 degrees. I can't even imagine that. So it's such an experience. Highly recommend it. Seeing the you know, um, the, the medical area where they would treat them and the dental, you know, dental chair and, you oh, know, yeah. and all of that. And it's just, it's, it's so incredible. And then also Camp Battleship. I, I love Camp Battleship, that kids can actually come Have and stay. No, I need to do, I want to do Camp Battleship next. It's, uh, tomorrow. It's tomorrow? It's tomorrow? Okay. We have one tomorrow. I'm willing to bunk up. I'm willing to bunk <laughs> up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We'll okay. give you a state room so you don't have to... Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll be nice to you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. No, but I, I love to experience camp battleships. So my goal is to just really, you know, again, go through, you know, every program to, sure. and to really learn about it from, you know, the inside out. And so I think that's going to be so important to my job to really understand our programming and who's on our team and really what our needs are, what our priorities are, because... Fundraising is such a huge job, and you know we have a lot of areas that you know we want to raise money for. But coming in, it's really about what are our priorities, what are our top needs, and that's what I'm going to really focus on. But um, again, just amazed by the the breadth of the programming and the opportunity here, and the community that oh, yeah. exists here, and then also like the events that are done here. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, and I understand we do weddings here and, you know, we have concerts here. And so it's incredible. What a great place for our community and Prepare visitors to come. <laughs> yeah, get, get ready no for Fleet Week. What's coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I <laughs> Wait, Fleet Week is always the all hands on deck. Yes, so yes. All puns intended, yeah. obviously. Yes. But. So I was, I participated when I, um, through the tall ships when you so I'm, I'm nice. kind of familiar with it it's really a lot of fun and it's growing and it's getting bigger and better and that's really exciting and that's good for for the community and, and for the people that come so oh yeah so we realize that you know, you've only been here for a couple of weeks so t tell us about some of your first impressions yeah. Danny and I we've been doing this for years and so you know, sometimes the lesser can start to kind of Early, but since you've just come on, what are some of the first things that you noticed? What are some of the first things that really captivated you? I think one of the first things was really the passion of the people that volunteer here. So my cruise sponsor was a man named Paul Woodridge, mm -hmm. and he lives in PV. And you know, again, you know, we rely on volunteers to even do these sponsor. It's called a cruise sponsor tour her when you volunteer so you know his passion it just oozes out you know he's just he he can't get enough of this it's like I love this he's like I want people to know about this I want young people to know about this you know and and he feels like 
you know, young people really need help with developing their respect towards our veterans and towards our military. And he really wants to be a part of that mm -hmm. with the next generation. And so just across the board, the volunteers that give their time, they are so passionate and they are an inspiration really. And that was the first thing that really caught me. Like these people are here from the heart. They're oh, yeah. here because they love what we're doing. They believe in what we're doing. And they are our greatest, you know, um, ambassadors, really. And then the staff as well, equal to the staff, that they're all here because, you know, they are passionate about the mission and they want to be part of, of taking this incredible journey of history and mm -hmm. into the, the future and really keeping the uh, American spirit alive. You know, that's really important to the people that I've met so far, it's important to me. And so mm -hmm. to be part of that and to, you know, be involved in an organization that knows what they're all about. So we know we're about community, we know we're about education, and we know we're about veterans. And those, and so it really, that's what really struck me was the passion of the people here mm -hmm. and their dedication. And I, and also <coughs> that we honor our veterans. I love that when a vet comes to this ship, their name gets announced and where they serve. Mm -hmm. I love that. That is just like, I could just sit here all day and listen to that be announced. And I want to go out and meet every one of those people and I want to shake their hand and I want to thank them. But then of course I wouldn't be able to do my job, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jonathan wouldn't be happy, so happy about that. No. Uh, so there's a bit of a balance in all things. Yes, yes, yes. But we have we have the team doing that. So our you know, our crew, our ambassadors, they make sure that our our veterans feel really, you know, valued and appreciated. And I I know that for many veterans that have come on the ship it's been very cathartic for them. Yeah. And I've already heard some stories and I've, I've seen some testimonials that have even come through this month. Wow. And those stories are powerful. And, you know, for a lot of these men, they said that this is the most valued they have felt <coughs> since being back in civilian life. Wow. And that's pretty powerful. That's pretty heavy to hear. Yeah. Right? So I, I don't believe that we as a country do enough for our veterans. And I hope that doesn't get me in trouble by saying that. But, <laughs> it, and that's one of the reasons I want to be here because I believe that they deserve more. They deserve better. They deserve the best yeah. that they we can give them. them we put them through enough. Yeah, yeah. They, jeop they their lives were in jeopardy. That, yeah, for sure. So, yeah. And Danny, it looks like well, you've sunk at least one ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it, Seems, uh, well, I guess we're a battleship, so we do what we want. You're sailing in the middle of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, still alive? Yeah. Okay. No. All right, just because I'm not much I'm, longer. I'm, I'm watching... about one more uh, <laughs> left. I was about to say, yeah. yeah. Now, where, where are you at? What ocean are you at? I don't know. These are just oh, random okay. yeah. generated maps. <laughs> okay, so it's not like... They're more generic maps. Uh, they're patterned after different uh, parts, but okay. there's not one that's like photorealistic. Okay, okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, and there it goes. Yay, death. Horrible death. <laughs> this ship is in battle. To start a new battle, select another ship. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Yep, so, I love you know, it. in another two and a half years, they'll have rebuilt it. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Take it back out again. Exactly. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so great. So, so you've, you've done, you pretty much toured at least a normal tour, and you've done yeah, full steam ahead. full so steam ahead, yeah. What's maybe, like, your favorite part of the ship right now that you've seen? Because there's plenty more you haven't seen. Oh my gosh. Uh, more you haven't seen. That's, that's hard, I think. Or coolest, or... Or whatever, what stands out like from the ship, not like the people here, but the ship itself right now? Well, I know that's hard to judge. Yeah. I think it's a toss up between the aft and the bow. <laughs> 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 because I love outdoor space, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's. I think it's just really cool space. And so, you know, as someone that's done events and I just look at that, 
you know, those two areas as just really cool event spaces and everything. So yeah. I really, I really dig that. And then I think the other thing I love that I'm a foodie. Mm -hmm. So, the, you know, the mess hall and everything, I, that's really cool. Uh, I love that. Oh, yeah. So, um, and then, you know, the brig, like, ah. oh, yeah. <laughs> can't it believe they actually there. Threw... I thought it was still off limits. I like that. It's, well, it's still off limits Oop. because Ops is working there, yeah. but... <laughs> Um, Whoops. <laughs> because yeah. I'm, I'm sure that they yeah. show you the space where yes. the, the yeah. Lost FC is going to go. Yes, yeah. yes. They'll probably take you back yeah. there for yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then the post office. Oh, yeah. I love the post office, and I love the, you know, there's there's letters there. There's yeah. envelopes there, postmark, 1940, 1940. Like, oh, my I gosh. If we were able, if we ever do allow tours forward in that area, that would be cool to have somebody there. Like yes. actually take like postcards or something. Yes. Well, I, yes. I know um, last year around Christmas time, we were talking about doing that, about having <laughs> kids be able to la mail a letter to Santa from our mm. post office. Oh, that that got scuttled uh, because of the fire department. Um, yeah. Not, you got and, lighting there now. Also, <laughs> well, it was before the LEDs, so it was really yeah. dark. Um, so the fire department said no. But maybe this year we might be able to do oh, it. How now. fun would that be? Yeah. How fun would that be? But yeah, I mean, it just, you know, and like um, our, our tour guide said, he's like, you know, back then, you know, you didn't have email, right. you know, you communicated by pen and paper, right? And so it just, and hearing about how, you know, they got mail to the ship and, you know, it was a really neat story on its own. Yeah, so... And of course, God help you if you dropped the mailbag. Oh my gosh. Oh, did we lose any love stories? Oh, that would There's break actually, my heart. I love uh, when you're coming down from birth, that part of the, tour, the regular tour route, when you're coming down from birthing and there's like a couple comics along the side yeah. when you're going into uh, where you can buy the pictures. Uh -huh. uh, and there's like a comic that's there who's like, oh, the Iowa must have been delivering, or it's a bunch of fishes saying, oh, the Iowa must have been delivering mail again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very so, cool. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> so, Very cool. Yeah, we have a comment that they could only imagine what it was like to look out from the ship's bow. Oh, yes. yeah. No, it's there was a storm, you probably don't want to be looking yeah. out. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, not if there's a storm, it's yeah. probably not the place you want to be. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we've had some questions as to whether or not they could do the whole Titanic boat. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Unfortunately, probably not, but you yeah. can get close. Yeah. <laughs> well, if we could get Leonardo DiCaprio down here, we'll make it happen. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you're if you're listening, Leonardo, yeah, get in touch with me. And, and Kate Winslet too, of course. Yeah. Of, course. of course, yeah, Kate too. So, Danny, hope hopefully this goes better than the last one. Yeah. Year. As it sets off, they've all been bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know what it is about. Uh, well, you've sunk a game every, uh, or you've sunk a ship every yeah. game, which is better than we usually do. Yeah, and that's not like a. So we had a. So you're doing better. We're, we're so doing you're, better. You're, it's an upward trend. Yeah, and I'm uh, here. I love it. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one we during the 75th, we had battleship Larry and and the other Larry Larry uh, Helm. Yeah, and they both so, served on Missouri, and we were using Missouri. And, and they kept doing sinking terribly. Oh my god! And they they kept giving them. <laughs> they they were giving me all of the crap. I actually, the one and only game or the one and only ship that I was able to sink was I was burning everywhere. I was flooding from a torpedo hit. I was about to die, and so I steered Missouri into another ship and blew us both up, and we sank. And they're like, "Really, really?" I said, "At least I took someone with me." It's like that doesn't make it better. <laughs> It's right. Uh, they keep giving me all the crap as you know they watch the ships totally sick, and of course that's the one time where it, the animation shows us oh, yeah. in half. They're like, "Well, thanks a lot, Nick." <laughs> wow! Ooh, yeah. look at that. Uh, kind of, that's they cool. wouldn't be likely to shout, "I'm the king of the world." No, you'd probably do that <laughs> on top of O five. <laughs> If you're looking down on the on the main battery turrets, then you're definitely in the world. Go all the way up to the mask. Oh god. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs>
That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, at that point, you'd be saying, I'm a battleship, I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Um, Very cool. Oh, I love it. But, yeah, I mean, um, so so this is what this is. This is what the stream is, is just, you know, introducing... Viewers to the to people on the ship, people on the ship to this game because you know it's a, it's a nice visual of what the ship yeah. could have been doing if it actually battled other ships at yeah, some point. Very Only kind cool. of sort of happened and once. It, and <laughs> if all the admirals were drunk enough to just tell the captain, yeah, do what you want. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. Just go to town. Go to oh town. Whatever. God. We'll build more. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but um yeah i mean we've, we've done year number 15. oh okay done, all right so. who else uh, have you interviewed um, so far we've done dave way uh our curator i have done uh, david canfield okay which was quite the interview and unfortunately well, got i'm cut. getting it yeah. and it got cut oh uh oh did you i go? somehow oh. survived that oh, oh never mind oh. there comes more <gasps> oh no, <I'm> done. <laughs> But yeah, we've done Dave Wade, David Canfield, uh, Len Jablon, he's one of the tour guides, works with education okay. with us, um, Captain Rich, he was Captain down Rich at the, uh, in the wardroom this morning with us. Okay, um, okay. Chris Butler, Chris talked Butler. about, um, We've done, um, a few people from the Overnights, including, uh, Mario, we did yeah, Mario. Mario Mares, uh, who sailed alongside, uh, New Jersey and Missouri. Oh. We've done... Quite a few, okay. and they're all on our Facebook page. They're all on our YouTube page. And a couple cool. of them are still able to be seen from the Twitch page. Okay, yeah. great. Twitch, oh, yeah. I love that name. Twitch. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. so let me uh, put them in the chat right now. Oh yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm. I guess right now you're still new, so there's not yeah. a lot of stories you have about no, working not, here. No, I don't Sometimes really have a lot. Funny ones, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm looking. I'll uh, come back when I have oh, some. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Sounds okay, good. probably won't be very long either, right? Because <laughs> we have a lot. Yeah. <laughs> after Fleet Week, you will have lots of stories okay. after Fleet so, Week, I'm sure. Okay, so let's uh, let's plan. I'll come back after yeah. Fleet Week. All right. And I, I think we'll we'll end it then, unless okay. you have anything else you no. want to add in. No, it's just really um, great being here. Thanks for having me. Like I said, I, I just really love what you're doing. I support it and looking forward to seeing where this goes. Yeah. So great right. job, guys. Awesome. Great job. Well, thank you very much for coming on board. Okay. And uh, we hope we'll see you again pretty soon when we, uh, or after you've got a little bit more time to settle yes. in and see <laughs> even more stuff. Sounds good. For those uh, who have been joining us, thank you for watching we hope you had a good time uh be sure to check out our youtube page anchor management as well as our facebook page which can be reached at facebook.com slash n-e-p and twitch for november echo papa mike twitch <laughs> and uh see ya next week yeah and, yep. let It'll me be on just next finish uh yeah Dropping over the links because, of course, you have a Mac, Danny, and yeah. why can't it be? It's just Command C and Command D. Or yeah, but it's it? not Control C <laughs> and B, which means it is not correct and must be whatever. <laughs> I'm Mac based too. I'm Mac too. Yeah. yeah. So thank you for joining us, okay. everybody. Yeah. And right. we'll see you all next week. <laughs>